today we will talk about those new recycling cans around Wheaton Academy. That and more on the last WA TV episode of the month. Good morning, Wheaton Academy, and welcome to today's episode of WA TV News. We're coming to you from Studio 22. I'm Corbin Bates. It's Monday, August 26th. Thanks for joining us. I'm Shuler Williams. Let's get you caught up on a few announcements. If you are interested in playing on a team, hitting buzzers, and answering trivia questions, then the Quiz Bowl team might be a good fit for you. They practice during Monday lunches and after school on Tuesday in Mr. Jasper's room, Academy Hall room 119. The first practice is today, so stop by if you can make it. Seniors, please contact your respective college counselor to set up a time to meet and plan out your applications and supplemental materials. These meetings will be student-driven. There's a survey link that was sent through on campus. Please fill it out. The meetings may be as short as 15 minutes or as long as an hour. If you have questions, please contact Mr. Ellison or Mr. Gregerson. The fall musical auditions will be on September 9th and 10th. There's a sign-up on the theater board, and the show will be announced this week on On Campus. Sign-up sheets are now up on the Performing Arts Board for any student interested in auditioning for an a cappella group here at Wien Academy. It is important to note that you must be in an instrumental, chorale, or intro to performing arts class in order to qualify for the audition. Any students interested in helping out with sports broadcasts, filming fine arts events, and helping with the chapel video team, there will be an informational meeting at lunch on Thursday in Studio 22. Contact Mr. Hockett if you cannot make it. There have been recent issues with the new surface pens. Take a couple of precautions to avoid battery drain or breaks. Be careful not to squeeze the buttons on the back of the pen while you put it back on the case. If the buttons are pushed in when it is stored, it will drain the battery. And when you put the surface in your backpack, make sure the pen is on the top side, not the bottom of the backpack, to avoid breaks. School pictures are going to be taken tomorrow and Wednesday in the atrium. Picture forms are available at the front desk or you can order them online at mylifetouch.com. Everybody, including faculty, should be sure to have the picture taken tomorrow or Wednesday. This Saturday at 7 p.m. at Dr. Frost's home, not far from the school, there will be a simple low-pressure recital for any singer or instrumentalist who would like to perform a classical piece of music. Contact Mrs. Westerfield for more information. The 28th annual Guys Camp Out is just over two weeks away. The registration deadline is September 11th. Look for the registration form hyperlinked in messages on on campus. There will be an informational meeting next Wednesday, September 4th in room 1017 at lunch. Make sure you put it on your calendar tonight. If you have any questions, contact Mr. McCallum. For our first video, check out this Camp Out highlight video. That video just looks amazing. I personally have not had the opportunity to go to camp out and just because of being in volleyball season, it was just too tough. But everyone that I've heard that's gone to camp out has had an amazing time. So if you have the opportunity, make sure you sign up. Yeah, I've heard it's an absolute blast. And you know it has to be with Mr. McCallum going. That guy is just the best. If you haven't met him, make sure you take that opportunity. He's the best. It didn't take long for most of us to notice the major changes to the senior hallway. It was a busy summer for a few people here. Josh Woodall and Thomas Kelsch have more. The new school year brings new changes for Wheaton Academy. One of them being the new construction that was done this past summer. So the new admissions office was an idea after we have sat in, uh, in Mrs. Klenke's office many times and seen students kind of come and go through that hallway at the front office and it got really tight. We have a lot of family members, we have a lot of shadows that come through here and we wanted to really create a space 
that is more hospitable for them to come through, uh, a place where we can take care of them, and a place that kind of is distinguished from the rest of Wheaton Academy. In this space, what's really cool about this space is we have a new glass interview office where you actually can see outside. The old office was all cinder block walls, you couldn't see anywhere. Now you actually get to overlook the chapel. Um, all the glass actually shows through to all the offices, so you get natural light through the whole space. Uh, we have a nice place for everybody to sit that's not in the hallway or in the atrium that, where they don't have to be disturbed. Um, we are going to have a hospitality area where people can get coffee or waters, but it's all contained right here in the admissions office. Okay. We're really excited for the next wave of students who are coming and going and the next wave of families to sit down here and actually uh, meet with Mrs. Klinky and meet with different people and do all of that contained here in the admissions office. We are thankful that we're able to update our buildings and further improve the productivity of the students, faculty, and staff with these new changes. This is JDog from Law TV News. We want to give a special thank you to Mr. Dunham for all the hard work he has put in the construction to make the new changes look amazing. We are blessed to have a really great campus and he is a big reason why. Continuing on with the subject of change, one of those recent changes has been the new recycling system implemented by Mr. Carlson. Let's hear what Mr. Clancy has to say about why recycling is good and how it helps the environment. Academy. Uh, I think it's very important to recycle. Uh, a couple reasons why. Uh, one is if you consider uh, the materials we're recycling, notably uh, plastic bottles, uh, cans, and so forth, all those need raw materials to be made. And those raw materials are basically in a finite supply. We call them in environmental science finite resources. So in other words, it's not an endless supply. And recycling kind of makes us makes it uh, much more efficient because we can reuse those raw materials, if you will, over and over and over. And it helps preserve the amount of raw materials for future generations. So if you're if you want to know if recycling is really important, uh, I would ask a couple of questions to ask yourself would be would be one: uh, Do I do I really care about the world that my children are live in, and my grandchildren, and my great grandchildren, and so forth? Uh, the other question to ask is, um, are we being the best stewards of the resources the Lord has blessed us with? And I think uh, the recycling is a major step toward being much more efficient and streamlined than how we use the, the rich blessings from the Lord. From Studio 22, Jenny Marsteller and Hannah Phelps signing out. Mr. Clancy did an amazing job explaining that. I am personally, I recycle at home but when I go out the house it completely goes out the window so starting today I'm going to do a much better job recycling and Wheaton Academy as a student body we should do better as well yeah make sure to recycle save the environment save the turtles save all of us actually recycling is very important just as Mr. Clancy said for your weekly sports report here's Dan Kowalczyk thanks Corbin before we get to some quick scores let's talk powder puff football for any girls interested in playing powder puff over homecoming week now is actually the time to sign up for Powder Puff teams so we can order your t-shirts. Freshman girls sign up with Mrs. Rinker, sophomores with Mrs. Gregerson, juniors with Mrs. Prempis, and seniors sign up with Mr. Broman. We have a lot of teams going into competition this week. Cross Country has their first meet today at Yorkville. Boys soccer will play at Batavia and Geneva before they come back for their first home match of the season on Saturday. Girls tennis has a home match on Thursday. We have our first home football game this Friday under the lights at 7.30 p.m. Girls Volleyball will be away on Thursday. And staying with volleyball for a second, the varsity team is hosting a fundraiser today during lunch in the atrium. They are selling baked goods like candy, cookies, brownies, and also gluten and dairy-free options. And finally, our two golf teams remain the only teams with a record. The girls golf team is 1-0 and beat conference opponents Riverside Brookfield, being led by Anna Jones and Katie Lenting, with 48 and 49 respectively. Boys golf is also 1-0 in the season and competed in the Wheaton Cup on Saturday. They took first place beating St. Francis, Wheaton South, and Wheaton North. Freshman Stefan Inc. led all golfers by shooting even par 72. That's all for sports this week. Back to you, Schuler. Thanks, Dan. To finish off, let's get you your four things that you need to know. Number one, Thursday night is our annual back to school night. Encourage your parents to attend a chant for, to get a chance to walk your schedules and meet your teachers. Number two, there will be plenty of ways to get involved in clubs and co-curriculars over the next few weeks. Consider signing up or attending an interest meeting. 
Number three, our chapel speakers for the week are Mr. Hogan on Tuesday, and on Friday, our head of school, Mr. Bolt. And number four, our next episode of WA TV News will be in two weeks as we take a break for the Labor Day holiday. That's all for us today. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at TheRealWA TV. For all of us in Studio 22, have a good day.